Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the fixed asset item list to track your individual fixed assets. You can use this list to enter information about the purchase price of an asset, its purchase date, and whether the asset was new or used at purchase. You can also enter the asset sale price if you decide to sell the asset at a later point in time. To open the fixed asset item list, select Lists, Fixed Asset Item List from the menu bar. To then add a new fixed asset to the fixed asset item list, click the Item button in the lower left corner of the list window and then select the New command from the pop-up menu. In the Asset Name slash Number field, type the name or number of the asset. Use the Asset Account drop-down to select the asset account used to track the value of the asset. In the Purchase Information section, set whether the item is new or used. You can type a purchase description into the next text box. Set the purchase date in the Date field. Enter the cost of the item into that field. Enter the name of the payee vendor into the field provided. Then enter any optional information you want to track in the Asset Information section. When you later sell the asset, you can edit the item and then enter the sales information when it is sold. To enter custom field information or create custom fields, click the Custom Fields button at the right side of the window to open the Custom Fields dialog box. To create new custom fields, click the Define Fields button to open a Set Up Custom Fields for Items dialog box where you can create new custom fields the same way that you create new custom fields within the item list. Then click the OK button to return to the Custom Fields dialog box. Then enter any values for the fixed asset item into the Custom Fields shown in the Custom Fields dialog box and then click the OK button to return to the new item window. Then simply click the OK button when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.